Neanderthals may be a geographical variant or offshoot of Homo sapiens. But of course, that is debated. So some of the behavioral changes, definitely lots of examples of symbolic burial and symbolic expression for the Neanderthals. Uh, Neanderthals buried their dead in the flexed body position. So if their, their knees are kind of tucked in like this. And they were also left with great goods and they left flowers for their dead. So if all of a sudden you're seeing all these examples of symbolic expression and symbolic burial, lots of evidence that cranial capacity is not only expanding, but probably the organization of their brain is changing if they're starting to behave in more symbolic ways, and possibly they're having more time to behave symbolically, and also maybe thinking about the afterlife. And Homo sapiens, of course, have lots of examples of symbolic expression, cave art. They're starting to make statuettes. This is a Venus figurine here. This is the Venus of Willendorf. This is oftentimes interpreted to be a fertility figurine. So you're seeing very prominent, um, looking at the, the hips and very prominent um, features of the female body. This is the Venus figurine here. And also, of course, with Homo sapiens, we have global migration. So first species that we see in pretty much every place on the globe, especially in modern day, obviously, Homo sapiens have successfully adapted to every circumstance on the planet. And their cranial capacity, 1,400 to about 1,700 cc's. And it's important to note with Neanderthals, their average cranial capacity is actually somewhat larger than Homo sapiens. But the Neanderthals were extremely robust. Uh, they weighed like on average much more than humans, somewhere between 200 to 250 pounds might have been the average, was the average for a male. And with Homo sapiens, they're heat adapted, so they're going to be taller and lengthier. All right, and I think that's going to be it for our lecture on genus Homo, and we're going to give you another lecture that's going to show you some of the offshoots of genus Homo.